G'day guys, Sam Darby here. John, thank you for returning for part seven of our series. Right. My pleasure, thank you for having me. Um, now at the very end of part six, we were talking about the refinancing process. So what does that entail? The refinancing, it's, it's basically another application, but the only reason we would refinance is if your bank's not willing to reduce your rate to what's currently out there at the marketplace. I mean, it's not, we don't refinance for the sake of refinancing. At the end of the day, if it's not worth your while to do it, we're not going to do it. But there are plenty of occasions where the bank has not been able to, to match an offer that's out there in the marketplace. And maybe half a percent could save you thousands over the term of the loan. And it'd been worthwhile to have that process to begin. And again, it's just a simple case of contacting. We go out, we do the application, and we run through. We get all the documentation together, we send it to the new lender, and we have that loan settled. Sounds it's like a same. really simple process. It is, very simple, yes. Awesome. Um, I think in part eight, we're gonna talk about releasing some equity to buy an investment property. Um, so obviously that sort of falls yeah. into the refinancing realm. So we'll cover that in part eight. John, thank you for returning as always. Sounds good, thank you. Guys, to find out about how to release equity from your property, make sure you hit the like button at the top of the page. And as always, if you wanna contact John, hit the link below and John will be in contact. Take care guys, see you for part eight.